What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play campaign as Great Britain. So to round up what happened last time, we successfully managed to do so much damage to the Prussians, we figured we'd have another go. And with John Moore's army, we are attacking Prague. So let's assault. Should be pretty simple, and the units they do have aren't exactly top quality. So that gives us a pretty... Wait a minute, is this Bluka Bluka? No, no, Bluka Bluka was to the north, to, to the northeast, towards Berlin. A whole lot of six pounders, John Moore. You need new artillery, my friend. So, if I place you here, you can engage, but there's no useful high ground. There's this high ground, but I don't know if they're going to advance into me. So, let's make the Highlanders hold the right flank because they may need to storm this hill. Or you can either complain about the weather or just deal with it. You're British after all. Good. King's German Legion and Line Infantry holding. Holding the left. Good. Coop my Dragoons and British Lights on the left, you know, uh, it's King's German Legion Dragoons, not just any Dragoons, King's German Legion Dragoons. And Sir John Moore, right in the middle, behind the Highlanders. Let's push my Highlanders up to secure this hill. should really have looked at where the AI is placing their cavalry to know where the best place to deploy mine is rather than just going meh let's move up and capture the road and bring this wing further around let's bring my cavalry over here I'm running my highlanders into position Good lads. Seventeenth Regiment of Foot. Then where's my dragoons that are on this flank? Here they are. Gun layer. There we go. Let's bring John Moore in. As the first shots go off. Good lads. Let's run this this flank. Get into position. My light infantry is probably not going to get into the battle at this rate, unless I put them up here to fire over the heads of the Highlanders. You target this unit, actually, maybe two of you target this unit of musketeers because you want to get some hits on the flank. use the Dragoons to fill this gap. And to be honest, I think I already may. Dragoons, my light Dragoons are taking some casualties from artillery fire. Let's attack the Fusiliers because they've managed to get around the, well not managed to get around the flank. I've left a flank exposed. These poor devils will not know what's about to hit them. Yep, trying to fall back. But it's not going to work.
pull them back in case they, they are thinking about attempting a mass charge on this flank. And let's kink this Highlander foot unit back. Let's bring my light infantry wheel round. You guys run. He goes out of canister range. Yeah, you are. There's a Lancer unit right out there on the flank, but don't worry about it. Worst comes to the worst, you just form square. Mm -hmm. It's not going well for you, Prussia. Poor armed citizenry getting cut to pieces by the well drilled fire of British rifles or British muskets. Let's get you out of square. Halt the fire of the guns. Let's commit the cavalry. You form square back there. Get my dragoons into the armed citizenry. Bring up my Highlanders. Get them to just engage these Prussian Fusiliers. Commit these chaps to engage. 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 Because the entire flank is folding. The entire Prussian efforts just folded. Then again, they were fighting a rather hopeless position. Good. Complete Prussian collapse. Stand the battle there. That's a heroic victory. Gonna peacefully occupy. Take the army. The army's replenishing, but what I want to do is get the 23rd. Uh, West Links. Oh, I can't call it West Links. I'm currently in Lancashire, and I think it would have been fun. Keep it as that for now. Uh, so let's get my spy on to. Have I already got a spy going on to Breslau? Infiltrate Saxony. Not an enemy as of yet. But they will be. Good. Let's upgrade it. Upgrade our goods. You're currently, well, you're actually just going to head north in general. Wellesley, I mean, you're recovering, aren't you, from a previous battle? So I'd probably like some cool units to replenish you. A light foot. Let's get a unit of Swiss Jaeger. Then we've got two recruitment slots, or two slots left, so we should get some... No, oh, we're, we're going to be out of Black Brunswickers. Let's get one unit of Black Brunswickers and one unit of Swiss Lion. 
It's in Bob Crawford. You've got to be ready to move out. As will you, but to be honest, it's late December. We're going to want uh, a bit of a bit of a break. Also, here come the Prussians. Do we have walls? We do have walls. Although, to be honest, we're quite a good field army at the minute. His name is you, Henry Clinton. I'm, is he all my... Okay, where are you going? <laughs> going all the way around there to reinforce. Gentlemen and spies are en route. Let's just, okay, hold on. Let's take my fencibles out and let's disembark Michael Stowe. Actually, they're all ready to rock and roll. So it turns out they don't even need to be in a... Oh... Oh, I remember. I've got two armies up here, haven't I? But you need replenishment, so, so you're probably going to go... Let's move you out. I need to recruit some... Still got six-pounders, so let's recruit some... Some nine pounders, two nine pounders, two howitzers, and a cool two five inch howitzers. Let's get some dragoon guards. And they'll all be coming from Copenhagen. Perfect. You, on the other hand, are a rather lovely garrison force, because I suspect Sweden will at some point turn. But that's not yet. So my research is going okay. I'm building a staff college in London. Cool. Let's hit end turn and see what progress is made. Gentlemen are on the march. You need to be very careful with Saxony because they could, with that army, punch west. Reinforcements are on the move. Uh, you, you are in a position to demand nothing, Bonaparte. You back off. I imagine once they capture Vienna, they will be Austria will be particularly upset. Oh, oh, I come the Russians. I'm very curious to... Okay, that's not ominous at all. Are you about to declare on me? They've just dropped. They have just dropped an army in Copenhagen an entire army I have no oh, I can get a general next turn trade gain George Elphinstone yeah it's locking down the Russian locking down the Prussian navy I don't know what navy the Russians have used with their sneaky ways Okay, so that's the makings of another navy. Was it to reinforce George Elphinstone? Okay, let's get a... Let's get two more firsts and two more seconds. All those commercial ports will take ages. But still, let's keep ticking on the ship re reinforcement chart. Yep, you're on the march. You're on the march. Okay, Henry Clinton, go south and engage Karsten Hartmann. Let's engage 
let's destroy them so I can get this army back. Uh, my Berlin garrison because they are probably ripe for an attack. Um, and to be honest, it's probably not so bad. I've got all that good cavalry outside. I can do lots and lots and lots of mayhem with them. And it looks like it's going to be a bridge river battle. So there's a bridge on one side. It's usually a ford. Yeah, there's a ford. Good god, that's a lot of artillery. These are all nines. These are all good nines. This. I'm very much like my cavalry, including the Scots Greys, to capture the bridge or to be able to storm across it quickly. Let's follow that up by the Coldstream Guards. These guys are going to follow up behind, and then let's just put my light infantry in front. These guys followed by these chaps are going to take the bridge. To be honest, my howitzer is in a good spot. Slightly out of range. Slightly out of range. So there's nowhere brilliant to put them. They'll go up in support of the... Oh, actually, to be honest, it's right here. Good. Because all I want is for them to do fire support against the howitzers, if I, against the uh, the ford if I need to. That's pretty good. And they're in a nice little uh, protected position. Using the reverse slope of the hill. Henry Clinton will join the ford forces. Let's run my cavalry across. Run my, just walk my infantry across. I keep losing sight of it. There it is. Now you guys do need to run. The bridge is more. More, more vulnerable than the Ford. They are not moving to actually contest this bank, so I'm more than happy to, to let them do what they need to do. Houses are firing, but they will be firing against the musketeers. Let's put my cavalry more out, out in the rear, away from these spikes. Oh, they are attacking my forces trying to cross the river. Okay, let's pair up these two against this artillery unit, these two against this artillery unit, and use barrage for both of them in an attempt to try and knock them out to gain the artillery advantage. So the 86th is unhappy because they've been shot to bits. Howitzer's shots coming in. They're deciding to garrison the bank. Not crossing the bridge as quickly as I would like. To be honest, the cold stream is. You may as well walk. Solid, massive men. Get my light infantry 
up in, in their faces to start getting some shots off because they seem to like they're crossing over to they're crossing over to hit me. Let's move my Scots Greys in. I'm ready to intercept Tuna Vizars. Let's move and intercept Dragoons as well. To be honest, just just go get them. My light horse, get up on top of the hill. Let's move a regular company of infantry in on the flanks. Because here they come. Move in the general. Excellent artillery shots. Hopefully these men reload quickly because we've got lots of them. Uh, oh wow, they are actually just, just going to cross. Mm -hmm. First troop to route. these guys could get tired they have to do it they have to charge over charge along clear the bank perform the only defensive position they can General's been killed from artillery fire. Stay north of the of the sticks. These are grenadiers. They're fresh, but they're advancing in very slow formation. It's not going to do them any favours when the 86th pour another volley into them. Let's get my light dragoons up here, start intercepting some of these retreating units. Scots Greys. To be honest, they all need to go out. Well, no, you can wait here. Comes the 81st Regiment of Foot. This is my leading King's German Legion lights. Chase down the musketeers. Yep, they are being squeezed across the river. Oh, they're returning. Nope, they're routing. It's almost the entire damn army. Get my battery to engage this unit of musketeers that is hunkering down. Let's bring the general in. Fire of my artillery. Let's continue. Halt, halt, halt. Halt. I'm aware the general is under attack. Because these are a rampaging troop.
at this. Lovely stuff. Let's triple speed it. Yep, these guys are continuing to engage the shooting musketeers as they route, which is their prerogative. To be honest, I might just set them to... No, there's no point worrying about setting them to be more efficient. Because this army is ready. They will chase them down. Oh, they are going to successfully rout, however. But they will have left a trail of bodies behind them. Let's bring over Henry Clinton to this unit. My Dragoons will eventually have to stop. Yeah, my Dragoons and Scots Greys require a new, a new quarry. Oh no, there is one. A one guy. If they can get him before he makes it to the line. Nope. <laughs> Let's get them back over here. And start engaging them. Lovely stuff. Yeah, General is after this. This chap, these two, these few, because they are only a couple of gunners, I think. Yeah, two gunners. Suitable quarry for a general. Well, there's one one of them. Don't know where the other one is. Everyone else is focusing on these poor chaps. Ah, oh, no, they are about to successfully rout. Decisive victory by Henry Clinton. Good stuff to have them destroyed so I can be more concerned and focused on the Prussians coming from the east. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Send in James Inglis. He can finish them off. Good stuff. Let's get back over to British lines. We are in British lines, but good god, the replenishment here is so fast. Yep, you're on the move. He's got two two pounders. Let's get you two howitzers as well, because they're just so good. So useful. And let's be ready to respond to what the Russians may be about to do. Oh yes, I must check my industries more often because it appears we've got a, a lot of upgrades we could do. Although the UK seems to be pretty up to date. Guards, rifles. I think I'm down near recruited everything I, need, I can recruit this individual. Um, but lovely stuff. So, William de Dornberg, to be honest, you want you to stay here actually. Because I probably want you to be more of a, a gatekeeper for Italy. And Wellesley, I'm just waiting on units to get to you, I believe. Although, look at these chaps. Where's William de Dornberg? To be honest, I might say William de Dornberg to go up here to chase down Christoph Hemprich. And I might send Wellesley to hold the bridge here. So I can tempt this chap into attempting a river assault. And I've still got Bob Crawford and I've got Alexander Abercrombie ready to annihilate this army, which is pretty knackered as it is. I am wondering if I need to recruit another army like up here. So this chap here, James Inglis Hamilton, he's a general, but he's going to have more of a captain's army. It's not going to be a strong contingent, it's just going to be a contingent to keep us in the game. Good, you're in position. 
might bring Nelson, or not Nelson, George Elphinstone back in case the Russians attempt to be tricky. So I'm here keeping an eye on you. Good, Henry Clinton's got some more command stars. Good stuff. My research and tech, so I'm up a few turns off of getting steamship propulsion. Should get passports. Really. Um, but to be honest, everything seems to be going okay. So I'm going to hit end turn. Let my agents go where they need to go. Oh, my trade ships are still moving into position. Although my reinforcing armies may... Those reinforcing troops may be about to get mauled by those that Prussian army moving around. But if they do, they do. Oh, I forgot about Vienna. Well, judging by the timer, chances are that'll probably be what I kick next turn off with. Oops, so the Prussians have moved north. At least we've got an eye on them. Okay, so the Russians are... They're on the move. North and south. The Mediterranean fleet and the, the Baltic fleet are on the move. Belgium's probably going to come along and spy on me. Agent detected. Oh, yeah. S silly little fool. So these reinforcements going to go sit by Michael Stowell. Spy network established in Zagreb. Beautiful. Spy network established in Budapest. Awesome. Four of pretty bland Russian troops. Uh, Austrian troops. Cool, I think. Actually, let's set the upgrade going on them. Hmm. Ludwig Frommel. So let's take my nations and friendly and ally with. This option demands that a nation become your protectorate. <laughs> Protectorates can take advantage of the military. Just tempted to see what they would do. Let's move the. So, to be honest, but. Uh, oh. hmm. Okay, hold on. Let's not get carried away. So, ooh, you're covering that bridge rather well. Fyodor. Fyodor. Fyodorovich. Buchelved. I'm not even going to try. Um, let's do the stuff we need to do. The tree academy, small arms factories, supply warehouse becomes supply depot or depot. Military academies, call of appeals, that's going to be as high as it goes. Yep. Yep, good. Uh, so thankfully, they did leave me alone. These guys can carry on going where they were going, although some of them are probably going to go the most convoluted route okay so firstly and eh. yeah so i'm trying to make every tenth turn be an hour long turn so i don't want to start something now because otherwise it'll start to it'll start to to really bring down the value of those longer turns um but we're going to set the stage to attack Vienna with George Thomas Brerisford. Uh, however, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this battle against the Prussians. All right, cheers, guys. Yeah.